za katonda for all the ministers who are listening and the saints. Today is a Thursday for those who are watching me on Facebook and YouTube. I welcome you all to hear the word of God. This is a teaching. Oh, today is Wednesday. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, today is a Wednesday. Thank you, Mama, for <laughs> correcting me. Today is a uh, uh, Wednesday, we speak in English. So I welcome each and everybody who are watching me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We are still teaching about the call of ministry. Don't get tired to hear me teaching every day the call of ministry. I just want to emphasize this. Who is called to be a minister? That's why I'm still teaching and emphasizing on the call of ministry. We are still continuing. So I want you to get your Bible, get a, uh, a, your book you, where you always, for those people who are watching us the first time, get a book, get a, uh, a pen, and write down the scriptures we're giving you. Because this is a Bible study, a teaching. We are teaching as ministers. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you for this day. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your name, that we are in the name of Christ, Lord, Heavenly Father. We thank you for the op opportunity, the priority you've given us to study, to come together as ministers, Lord, Heavenly Father. We thank you that our eyes are being enlightened. Our mind is being enlightened to know your word. As we grow in your word, we shall not remain the same. I thank you for the people who have logged on for the first time to hear this word. Father, let your mercy be upon them, Lord mighty God, to know your word. I thank you for the ministers. Let there be uh, a spirit of understanding of your word, Lord mighty God. Boldness will be upon them. I thank you for those who are sick because they are getting healed. As they hear the word. Sickness is leaving them in the name of Jesus because you have given us power to heal. Through your, your son, Jesus Christ, everybody says amen and amen. I welcome you again, those who are on cyberspace. I welcome those who are on Facebook. I want to thank you for taking this opportunity to come to hear the word of God, to study the word of God. There is no any other way you are going to know the word of God without studying. Without knowing the scriptures, you have to know the scriptures. How? By reading and studying them. Let's read, read this, uh, the first scripture, which is in uh, John 5.39. I told you I'm going to give you a lot of scriptures. What are we dealing with today? We are dealing with the work of ministry, the call to ministry. Who is called to ministry? Sometimes you've been wondering, who is a minister? A minister is somebody who has, called, who has been called by who? By Jesus Christ. We got that scripture in 2 Corinthians 5, 17 and 18. But the first scripture I want to read is in John 5.39. Get your Bible because we are going to read. And we are reading in English. Hallelujah. John, John, John. The Gospel. 5.39. It says, I'm reading King James. You search the scriptures, for in them you think 
you have internal life. And they are they which testify of me. You search the scriptures. The scriptures speak of Christ. The scriptures don't speak of any other thing. From Genesis to Revelation. It's all about Christ. You may hear all other stories going on in the Bible. But all those stories are referring to who? Uh, Pastor Kabuye was saying that God had his plan. All the plan he had was about man. Although there were some stories in there, but all those stories were about bringing back man to himself. So, when you read the scriptures and you don't see Jesus, you need to go back and read the scriptures. You hear me? When you read the scriptures and you don't see Jesus, because all scriptures speak about who? About Christ. He said, you search the scriptures for in them you think the scriptures have eternal life. And they are they. They are they. they when you go to the Greek, it says, they speak of me, which testify of me. The scriptures we are reading, we are going to study, we are going to reference with, speak of who? Of Jesus. Right now, we are talking about the work, the call to ministry. We've been dealing with ministry, and we have been talking about ministry. This is the ninth session we've been talking about ministry. The call of ministry is to every believer. The call to ministry. The moment you got born again, the, the, the moment you accepted Christ, you are called to ministry. But a lot of believers don't know it because they are not taught. Teaching is very important. Because when you're not taught right, you are going to act wrongly. When you are not taught right, you are going to act wrongly. So, as we've been uh, studying in the scriptures, we've been seeing how Jesus called the disciples. And we are going to look into the scriptures because this is our only evidence to know Christ. Because we just read in John 5.39, this, when you search the scriptures, they don't give you internal life. They speak of him, who? Christ Jesus. And we have taken time dealing with the call of ministry to show you how Jesus called his disciples to ministry. So ministry becomes a priority in a believer's life to every believer. Because you are given instructions as a believer. Hallelujah. You are given instructions as a believer. You, you as a believer, when you are called, Jesus gives you instruction. So it becomes a priority to you. Amen. We are going to look into the scripture, as I, I just told you, because that is our only evidence. Every the other thing, becomes an interruption. The main thing now is Jesus and his mission on earth. When you read the scriptures and you don't see Christ, you have not understood the Bible because the scriptures speak of him. Get your Bible as I told you that I'm bringing more, many scriptures which will open your mind and the scriptures are good for your soul. Romans 12, verse 1 and verse 2. I beseech you therefore, brethren, 
by the mercy, that is Apostle Paul to the Romans, by the mercies of God that ye present your bodies as a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is a reasonable service. Which is what? Therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that is a prayer that you present your bodies, your bodies as a living sacrifice, giving yourself a wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable, reasonable service. So ministry is serving. Two, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Be not conformed. Your thinking, be not conformed to this world. Change your thinking. A lot of believers, they accepted Christ, but they still, they are still thinking as the world thinks. We are in the world, cosmos, but we don't think like the world is. The world, cosmos, but we don't think like the world. And he be not conformed to this world. For those who are just coming, we are in Romans 12, verse 1 and 2. Now I'm reading King James, verse 2. And be not co be conformed to this world. That, that is talking about the thinking. But be ye transformed by the renewing of mind. Who renews your mind? The spirit of God renews your mind. That ye may prove what is good. That is good and acceptable. Perfect. The will of God. Hallelujah. In the work of ministry, we present ourselves as a living sacrifice. Because you've been called by Christ. Every believer, the moment you are born again, you are called. The moment you accept Christ, you are called. Hallelujah. You are called to Jesus. Amen. Amen. You are called to Jesus. Thank you. The moment you are born again, you are called to, to Jesus. And you receive the call of God to salvation and to minister. The next thing, you present yourself as a living sacrifice. That, we just read that in uh, Romans 12. I beseech you. Apostle Paul was commanding to the Romans. I beseech thee, brethren, as a minister, there is a way you carry yourself. There is a way you present yourself to the people because you are chosen to be a minister. And when you become a believer, you become a minister. Even though you don't have a microphone. Okay. Even though you don't have a microphone, but there's another way you are ministering to the people. Hallelujah. Amen. First, observe. We are going to observe Peter's a description of Jesus' sacrifice for us to see why he went on to do what he did. Because you cannot ask to do what he has not done for us. We do what Christ has done for us. He commands us to do, to go and preach the gospel. Amen? We as believers, we are preaching the gospel according to what the prophets did. According to what Jesus told us. Because right now we are, we are reading the scriptures to know what he wants us to do. Our second reading is going to be in 1 Peter. Chapter 2 from verse 21 to 23. 1 Peter 
Uh, chapter 2, verse 21. For as a believer, I'm mm. reading through Amplify. Yes. For as a believer, you have been called for this purpose. Mm. Since Christ suffered for you, mm -hmm. leaving you an example mm -hmm. so that you may follow in his footsteps. Yes. Verse 22. Mm -hmm. He committed no sin, mm. nor was deceit yes. ever found in his mouth. Yes. Verse 23. No, 22, that's where it is. Okay. Yeah, 23, 23, yes. Uh, 23 says, while being re reviled and insulted, mm -hmm. he did not revile yeah. or insult in return. Mm -hmm. While suffering, he made no threats Amen. of vengeance, but mm -hmm. kept entrusting himself to him yes. who judges fairly. He says, thank you very much, sister. Mm -hmm. For even high, he unto, were ye called because Christ also suffered as a living sacrifice. Mm. Also Christ suffered on our behalf. On our behalf. Mm. So he's an example mm -hmm. to you who has become a minister. So it's our example for us to follow to him. To follow him. Yes. So we are following his footstep, Amen. footsteps. So he did it with no sin. Neither go on his mouth. Mm -hmm. When he was reviled, mm -hmm. he suffered. So we, we can go through tribulation True. as we go to minister. But that does not stop you. So he gave himself as a sacrifice. Yes. A lamb for ourselves. Thank you. And we have to give ourselves as a sacrifice. Thank you. For the ministry. The assignment which is the given assignment to us. The assignment which is given to us. Yes. We sacrifice when you are ministering. It's not just like a feeling mm -hmm. that you are feeling. Oh, no. I feel like giving up. It's not about feeling. It's no. a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice. It's a commitment you make to serve God, feeling good or not good, feeling sick or not sick. Yes. There are times I come when I feel like, really, I have no energy in <laughs> my do. body. Yes. But because I know it's a commitment, someone yes. is waiting for this ministry. Mm -hmm. I will come. I remember one time time, uh, Mama Chitangala, I was so tired. I said to Sister Fred, I'm not going to minister. Mama Chitangala said, Suzette, I was waiting for the ministry. I didn't see you. Since that day, I said, oh my God, even if it's one soul waiting for this word, yes. I'll be tired, but I'll drag myself to come and minister. That's why I told you that when you become a minister, mm. you, you, you separate yourself. That's you right. know it's a priority. That's right. It's a priority for you. Jesus was abused, mm. but he never stopped. Amen. He became an example True. to show you as a minister that you have to give yourself a sacrificial lamp. That's what you mentioned. Yes, sir. On behalf. So we ought to give ourselves as a living sacrifice mm. for the assignment which is given to us. Amen. But you have to commit. There is a commitment. Commitment. For you. To fulfill that assignment. Amen. We are going to read see another scripture. Which is in the book of Acts. I told you. Those who have just logged on. We are talking about the call to ministry. Mm. Who is called to ministry? Anybody who is born again. Is called to ministry. It's, it's, it's a high time. To preach the gospel. That people may hear the gospel. But who is going to preach the gospel? You and me. Thank you. <laughs> Acts chapter 8, verse 32 and 33. Acts chapter 8, verse uh, 32 to 33 in Amplified Version. Yeah. Now, this was the passage of scripture which he was reading like mm. a sheep. Mm. He was laid to the slaughter mm. as a, and as a lamb before its sharer in silent, mm. so he does not open his mouth. Thank Verse you. 33. Mm. In humiliation, yes. his judgment yes. was taken away. Mm. Justice was denied him. Yes. Who will describe his generation? For his life is taken from the earth. Can you read 34 also? The Enoch replied mm. to Philip, mm. please tell me about whom? Does the prophet say this about himself or about someone else? So he did not complain. He did not open up his mouth. His mouth was dumb. He did not argue mm. 
what he was going through. Because he knew a mission. He knew what was going on. He knew what he wanted the people to know, to teach them to be disciples. Because those uh, 12 disciples, mm. he wanted to show them that you have, this is the way you are going to teach other people. And those other people, we teach other people. It's like a chain True. to teach other people to know. So, Christ laid his aside mind. his privileges, mm. everything that makes him God. He removed it and took the cross for us. Amen. Amen? He took the place for us. Yes. yes. So, in service also, mm. we lay down natural dispositions. True. We are going to look at examples, amen, which are making us know that there are some other things we might need, but we leave them aside True. and we will look at the goal. Amen. There's an example we are going to read in the milking cow, okay. which is in, a, in First Samuel. Mm. You know, a milking cow is like a parent when he has a baby. Mm. When a parent has a baby, like baby, uh, breastfeeding, mm. she pays attention to that. to that baby. Even if there is other surroundings or noises, she ignores that and focuses. On feeding the child. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. One time, let me give you some uh, a story, a little story here. Mm -hmm. uh, my wife Goretti told me one time she was pregnant. Mm -hmm. I think you were there. I don't know if you were there. That uh, and the time of Saba Saba. Yeah. That uh, when the Saba Saba started, something busted, mm -hmm. and she couldn't even because she was pregnant. Mm -hmm. That a, a lot of times she could. Not get up when she hears something, a big sound like that. But that day, when something hit the floor, mm. she doesn't know even how she got up from the floor. Mm. But so, there's an attention you put on a goal mm. that even if something comes, you can't distract when me. When you are focused. When you are focused. Yes. Let's go to First Samuel. Chapter. Chapter 6, verse 12. And the cows went straight towards Beth Shemesh mm. along the highway, mm -hmm. lowing as they went mm -hmm. and did not turn away mm. to the right of the, or the left. Yes. And the Philistines' lord governors yes. followed them to the border of Beth Shemesh. Okay. Mm -hmm. In this story, these cows were given an assignment to take the, 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 the ark. Mm -hmm. But... Some of these cows were milking cows, sure. but they were they didn't even because they had an assignment, mm. they were not distract, distracted. distracted yes. The natural instinct of milking cow mm. is to fill their calves, That's but right. they didn't care. They walked mm -hmm. to where they were supposed to, to go. Mm, that was Beth Shemesh. Yes. Mm -hmm. So a person who is called for ministry, you have to focus. Man. You have to know what the assignment is called for you. Mm. You don't just linger with everything. Mm. You have to put your focus on what God has called you for. Amen. You don't get distracted. Mm. Even though these cows had their babies, mm -hmm. they were not distracted. Mm -hmm. They focused on the main assignment. That, is, that was the, that they had to deliver the ark. So as believers... We have to focus on the ministry to preach the gospel. People need to hear the gospel. What does the will of God say? First, uh, let's go to First Timothy 2. You want to go to First Timothy? Yeah. Chapter 2. Yeah, read from 3 and 4. This kind of praying mm. is good and acceptable mm. and pleasing in the sight of God. And our, pleasing where? In the sight of God, mm -hmm. our Savior. Yes. Verse 4. Yeah. Who desires all people to be saved yes. and to come to the knowledge and recognition of the divine truth. The will of God, mm. why you are chosen to be a minister. Mm. You can read it now. 4. Verse 4. Let me read Who it in King James in also. Sure. Yeah. See, First Timothy, chapter two. Yes. Now you're reading 
verse 4. Yes. First Timothy chapter 2, I'm reading verse 4. Mm -hmm. It says, Who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth? So, God's will is to get all men saved Amen. and to come unto the knowledge of all. This is his will. So this is why it's very important because the ministry is so honorable. Mm. This is what Jesus died for. Mm. This is why God became man. Mm. This is the purpose why God for all God's plan. Yes. Pastor uh, Kabuye was mentioning that God had a big plan. Mm. Yes, for man to be revived. Amen? God is blind. Now, after all that, he takes it in his hands and hands it to you to us, yes. as a believer. Amen. What a privilege. Yes. This is not a joke. That's the highest honor. And the highest calling mm. for everybody who is a believer. Amen. When they call you to be a minister, you don't play. You don't give excuses. No. Like, oh, I'm tired. Oh, I have to do homework. No. Oh, I have to, so many kids, they have to do this. I think I'm stepping down. This is a huge honorable responsibility. God has handed it to us as men. When we understand that, we focus, we sacrifice, we put aside our desires, and then we go out again and preach the gospel to others to be saved. And it takes a responsibility yes. for you uh, until you are told to write. Amen. Because teaching has, has taken off as of, of understanding the word of That's God. That's true. When you have a wrong teacher, your perception of gonna understanding wrong, is going to be wrong. And your, your practice perception is, and yeah, your practice is going to be wrong. Everything is going gonna to be go wrong. Yes. But when you have a right teacher, mm. your perception of understanding the scriptures. Mm. You're, not, you're not there? Hello? Mvudeko te mumpulira. Yogera. Yogera. I think, yeah, okay. Can I take off this one? Yeah, you can. Okay. Mm -hmm. What I was saying that when you have a wrong teacher, your perception of understanding the scriptures is going to, have, is going to be wrong. Wrong perception as well. And your practice is going to be wrong. That's right. Because you received a wrong and a your teaching. your results are going to, to be, be wrong, wrong as well. So, that's why we are coming here mm. to teach you through the scriptures that you may know who you are in Christ Jesus. Identity is very important. I just read the scripture is in uh, John uh, chapter 5, mm. verse 39, that the scriptures are not for the whole word. They are not to give you eternal life. The scriptures show Christ. Amen. So, when we read the scriptures, we, Christ is revealed to you. Amen. They speak of me. Mm. Amen? As we're still continuing on the call of ministry. Who is an able minister? Who is an able minister? Amen. We are going to look at another scripture, which is in Daniel. Another example. Mm. How focusing and knowing the priority of your duty. Mm. Amen? Amen. Daniel chapter 6 verse 22. Daniel chapter 6 verse 22 in Amplified. Yes. My God has sent his angel mm. and has shut the mouth of the lions mm. so that they have not hurt me. Yes. Because I was found innocent before him and I also before you, O king, I have committed no crime. Here we see in the story mm. Daniel put in the den. Was thrown in the den of the lions. Thank you. Mm. If they put you in the den of lions. Not only that, remember <laughs> before, if you read the first text before they, uh, they, they threw him. Yes. They made those lions to fast. Fast. Yes. So to put a lion mm. when it's fasting. Yes. So you are giving it a meal. But here we see yeah. the lion saw the angel. Mm. They had to submit. Thank they you. They closed their mouth yes. on, for the purpose of Daniel. Yes. Because they knew Daniel had a call. The lions also obeyed. What about us believers? This is what I'm talking about. Thank you, Sister Suzanne. Mm. This is what I'm talking Focusing. They, they, these animals knew mm. 
the assignment that this is anointed man. Amen. You can't touch. You can't touch. You can't eat. It's not your meal today. How about you? Yes. Who is called by God Amen. that you are a minister? A able, you use the good word. A able minister. Yes. You are called to minister to other people. Amen. You are called to the will of God. Amen. Who wants all, may, uh, all may people to come to Christ. To Christ. First, to the knowledge. To get saved Amen. and to have knowledge. Mm, to come to the knowledge of understanding. Standing. Yes. Most of us, the problem we have that we don't have the knowledge of the scriptures. We don't read. We the, don't read we don't it. Study the we Bible. don't study the Bible. You can never just lie there and pray, God give me wisdom, God give me understanding. Mm. When you are not studying his word, you are going to get the knowledge and the understanding and the lightening of the word when you study. That's why we teach the word. Yes. So this animal mm -hmm. didn't hurt Daniel. Yeah. They protected him. Amen. Amen. They were hungry, but they did. They were starving, but when they saw the angel, mouth closed. Thank you. So you as a believer, mm. you are given an opportunity. Amen. To serve. So we don't have to give excuses. No. We have to stand as born again Christian. Amen. And trust God. We need to trust God. He's our life. The only way you are going to trust God mm. when you read the scriptures in the light of Christ and understand them. Amen. Let's see another scripture, which is in Philippians chapter 2, verse 12 and 13. I told you I'm going, I'm going to give you a lot of scriptures. Get your book where you write all these scriptures. Go back and... Study. Study and ponder. ponder. Mm. That is the word I was looking for. <laughs> ponder on them. Philippians chapter 2 verse 12 in Amplified. So then my dear ones, just mm. as you have al always obeyed my instructions mm. with enthusiasm, mm. not only in my presence, but yes. now yeah. much more in my absence, mm. continue to work out mm. your salvation. Mm. That is cult cultivate it. Bring it to full effect. Actively pursue spiritual maturity, which are inspired fear and trembling, using serious cautions and critical self-evaluation to avoid anything that might offend God or discreet the name of Christ. We are going to excavate this scripture very well. Yes. <laughs> okay? <laughs> because uh, this scripture, mm. a lot of... Uh, Teachers have taken it out of context. Yes, sir. But we are going to break it down. Break it down. So everybody who is listening can understand it. And pay attention. Pay attention. Work out. Mm -hmm. 12. Yes. If I'm reading King James. Yes, sir. Philippians chapter 2, mm -hmm. verse 12 and 13. Mm -hmm. Where or wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, only, but now much more in my absence. Yes. You hear? In my absence. Mm -hmm. Because we are reading this word so you can understand the words clear. Mm -hmm. Work out your, your own, own salvation. salvation. Work out mm -hmm. your own salvation with fear and trembling. Mm -hmm. For it is who? God. Which worketh in you, both in, in to will and, and to all his good pleasure. So many of us, when we read this, this scripture, scripture, we, only we stop at the work. Verse. Yeah, 12. Mm. Work out your salvation. Mm. But look, he didn't say work for your salvation. Don't work for your salvation. He said work out. Work out. Not work so, for. This is why you said that you, you have to read the scripture in the right context. Yes, sir. He says work it out means he is already in you. Mm -hmm. It means you are bringing out what is in you. And that which is in you is Christ. Thank you very Christ much. Christ is the one who is working in you. Not you, your own goods, your own deeds. No. Not work for. Let's understand the word. Yes. Not work for. He no. said work, work out. out. So you're working out what is inside you. What he perfects you, 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 you present. 
That's how you work it out. A lot of times we've read that work out as if we, we are the one who brought salvation. I remember one time we preached this gospel again we, and there was another man of God. I won't mention his name because he was bragging. Yeah. But then I kind of pity him because what he was bragging, he didn't understand. He mm. said, how could you preach that work out your salvation? The grace of God, you are causing people to sin. We need to, we need to work out. You have to do your, your, with your energy. He was out of context. Yeah. It's not our understanding. Yes. It's not our ability or energy. It is the power of God. Verse 13 says here. Yes. Let's read it. We don't want to use our own words. Mm -hmm. It says, for it is God which, which worketh. Mm -hmm. Maybe work if someone may say it's too hard. It is God who, who works who is working in you, in you both, both to will, will and, and to, to do, do his, his good pleasure. So where do you see work out to you? Where do you see bring are you the one who brought, Are you the one who brought salvation? Are you the one who died for yourself? Yes. You cannot work out what is not in you. Exactly. You didn't die for yourself. Salvation is already you in did, you. you if sacrifices, animal sacrifices, mm -hmm. what they did in the Old Testament could not pardon our sins. Yeah. Anything, any gift you give it can never pardon your sin except Christ. He was a ransom, a precious lamb of God. Amen. He died for us. So, God, teacher. since we are made of good works, yes. created in Christ Amen. and to God. Mm. Can you read Ephesians 2.10? Ephesians mm. 2.10. Yes. I love this word of God, man, Ephesians 2.10. Yeah. It says, for we are his workmanship. We are his what? Workmanship. Mm -hmm. His own masterwork. Yeah. Of art. Yeah. <laughs> Created in Christ mm -hmm. Jesus. Yes. Reborn from a spiritually transformed, mm. renewed, ready to be used for good works which God prepared for us beforehand, taking path, which he set, so that we would walk in them, mm -hmm. living the good life, mm -hmm. which he prearranged and made ready for us. I love that. Now, I, we want you to hear this and understand it. Yes, So, sir. God works in us. We don't work for our salvation. Amen. Salvation is given to us as a gift. Amen. Amen? Amen. It, it is a gift. You don't propose a gift for somebody to give it no, to you. No, you don't even no. ask someone for a gift. No. Someone thinks about it. Thank you. And then they come and they give it to you. Amen. Mm. It is his will and those good works is like, Evangelism, yes. Soul winning, yes. Discipleship, amen. Those are the good gifts we are working. Yes, mm -hmm. giving the cost. The Christ died, yes, for you and me, amen, so that we can live. Amen. This is why we are coming here to teach you, to show you that you are able ministers. The job is already the you are the, you are on the finished work of you are the finishing product. Thank you. Mm. It's already done by Christ. Amen. You just have, have to, to obey, obey the instructions. His instructions. instructions. And his instruction says, go ye out and preach the gospel. He says here, which God ordained that we should walk. Mm. And because this is a good ordination yes. of walking, mm. we are obedient. Amen. 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 We yield to the working of Christ in our bodies. Mm. That's why he calls us sheep. Amen. Not gods. No. Gods are God. uh, lost animals. <laughs> Thank you. But the sheep, they obey. Amen. 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 Let's look into another scripture here, which is in First Peter. First Peter. First Peter, chapter 1, verse 14. Chapter 1, verse 14 says, mm. Live as obedient children yes. of God. Mm. Do not be conformed to the evil desires mm. which governed you in your ignorance. Before you knew the requirements and transforming power of God, news regarding salvation. King James says, as obedient children, mm. not fashioning yourself according to the former last in your ignorance. Mm. That's why when you read the scriptures, you need to Put at the back of your mind that am I reading reality or am I reading metaphors, mm. shadows? Mm. He says, 
as obedient children, mm -hmm. not fashioning yourself according to the former last. Mm. He's talking about your thinking. Yes. Not thinking as you were before you were born again. The kind of thinking. The kind of thinking. Mm. Now, because you are in Christ, 2 Corinthians 5, 17, mm. if any man be in Christ, in Christ Jesus, he's a new creature. Behold the past. Oh, the past is, yeah. Now, right now, you are a new creature. You don't Amen. think like that. You are obedient to the instructions of Christ. Amen. So, as obedient children, we are obedient to Christ because that's what we are. Amen. The Father's will has been worked in us. Amen. His will is our will. Yes. His will is our, our will. will. What the Father wills, it's our will. will. Mm -hmm. What is His will? He wants all people to be, to be saved, saved and, and to, to come, come to, to the, the knowledge. knowledge. And recognition Thank of the you. divine truth. That's, we just read in that in First Timothy. Can you read it again? First Timothy chapter, chapter two, 2, verse 4. Who's, who desires mm. all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge mm. and recognition of yeah. the divine truth. Thank you. So you as a believer, I don't mm. want you to forget mm. that when you, are caught, when you became born again and accepted Christ, Salvation came to you. The accepting of Jesus, the death, the burial, and the resurrection, that is the accepting of salvation. Amen. And then you are given, you are called. Mm -hmm. As soon as you accept, you are called for, for ministry. And it is our will right now. Yes. We must sit with whatever it takes yes. to fulfill the mm -hmm. call of the ministry. Amen. For you as a believer, mm. don't forget that whatever you are reading in the scriptures, mm. you may see all the stories, Samson killing the lion, uh, the ark. And the uh, Samson killing the Philistine. The Philistine. Mm -hmm. All those are referencing Christ. Amen. Those are all stories about Christ. Amen. That's why I tell you that when we read the scriptures, we have to read and see Christ. Mm. Let's look into another scripture here. Okay. Where we are called and given the ministry of reconciliation. Amen. Colossians 4 verse 17. Colossians 4 verse 17. Mm. And say to Archippus, mm. see to it that mm. you fulfill mm. carefully mm. the duties of the ministry which you have received in the Lord. Archippus was a minister, mm. but he was being strengthened that take heed to the ministry that of he was given uh, of reconciliation which was given to you. Mm. The word of reconciliation is an assignment is. to a disciple Amen. that you are not going to disciple your, your, your children mm. or your friends. You are going to disciple the whole nation. Amen. Amen. So people are waiting. Nations are waiting yeah. for you. Stop the excuse. I don't know how to speak. I never went to school. Or oh, no one trained me. Yes. Those are all excuse, excuses. Amen. Amen. You, you are preaching to the gospel to every creature mm. which, you, you, which is in Christ Jesus. Amen. Let's see Apostle Paul what he says here mm -hmm. in 2 Timothy 4, 7. 2 Timothy chapter 4, mm. verse 7 in Amplified. Yes. I have fought the good and worth a noble fight. Mm -hmm. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith firmly guarding the gospel against error. Apostle Paul, I have fought a good fight. Mm -hmm. I have finished my course. That means that every believer has a course. You have a cause. Yes. Yes. You have to, you have a cause you have to look at. And you have to finish it. Yes. Most time they read this scripture when someone has died. But when we went back, they were not talking about the dad, the, the person no. have died. No. Mm -mm. They are talking about the gospel. Understanding. Under, the gospel that which God gave you, you as an able minister. Yes. Where you have to fight. How do you fight? When... Things of the world come against you. Yes. And you cannot even stand to minister. Mm -hmm. You ignore them. Yes. And when I, I read and I understood this, I said, wow. 
you like sometimes you may feel sick. You don't even feel like standing up to go and minister or sing if you're a musician. Mm. You have to resist that. You stand and you do your duty as a minister. That's how you fight. Not because you have died and then we say you have fought a good fight. That's why Apostle Paul was saying, I have fought a good fight. Mm. Because he went through, he fought against the desires yes. to start, which could stand in his way. He mm. fought against destruction yes. that could come from different situations in that's, life. That's right. There's a lot of things which you as a minister, mm. you know that uh, <laughs> last time the teacher was teaching us and he said that you, the devil might be your wife in the house mm. because he might be stopping you or your son. That's right. He might become a blocking. But that doesn't mean it's your wife. No. Whatever works behind it. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that doesn't mean that. <laughs> okay. Because someone who doesn't understand. No, yeah. You know, then it's like, hey, uh, the wife, how can the wife be the devil? No. No, the spirit the working spirit behind that person. The spirit working that person. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, sister. Amen. <laughs> so, you as a believer, you mm. need to know this. No, my wife is not the devil. You hear, you have to fight, um, uh, you have to have that goal. To yes. Fight. You yes. have to focus. You strive. You strive for the best <clears throat> for the ministry. Yes. The doctor can tell you are going to die in two Thank days. Thank you. Are you going to stop to preach? No. Because the doctor say, the doctor has no final say on your life. You fight that, you resist that destruction. And then you say, I will minister to God's people. Remember yesterday when we were studying, mm. we talked about prayer. Yes. That a, 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 a minister has to labor yes. in prayer. You got to pray. You got to pray. You cannot just be like one minute I've prayed. No. <laughs> you, you got, got to, to pray. pray. Especially we are talking to an able minister. Yes. You separate yourself. You, you gave a good example yesterday. Yeah. That before we used to say you have to find a room. Yes. You, you, you go tell in people, call don't me. even call, call me. me. I'm going to be, be even praying. Even let them die for me, I want to pray. Yes. No. You just need to separate yourself. Yeah. You need to pray all the time. time. You don't, you know, even when you're walking, even, even when you're in taking a, car. a shower, yes. Way before you sleep, you walk, or you pray you all the pray time. All the time. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't cease to pray every time. Mm. Let's read this scripture. I think this is going to be the last one, mm. which is in First Corinthians four. First Corinthians chapter one and two. Hold on a second. Let me look for it quickly. You said First Corinthians. Yeah. Chapter what? Chapter one and two. Chapter one and verse two. Oh no, I said chapter uh, <laughs> chapter uh, chapter four, verse one and two. So which one do you want? First, First Corinthians. Corinthians. Let yeah. me go back. Chapter four, verse First, one. First Corinthians chapter four, verse one. Verse one. Only and verse two. one and two. Okay. Mm. 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 1 to mm. 2. So then, let us who minister mm. be regarded mm. as servants of Christ mm -hmm. and stewards, trustees, mm. administrators mm -hmm. of the mysteries of God yes. that he chooses to reveal. Mm. Verse 2. Mm. In this case, yes. moreover, mm. it is required yes. as insatiable and demanded of stewards <laughs> that one yeah. He found faithful and trustworthy. Amen. Let King James uh, says says it this way. Mm -hmm. Let a man so account of us mm -hmm. as of the ministers of Christ mm -hmm. and stewards of the mystery of God. Amen. Now listen to two. Mm -hmm. Moreover, it is required it in is stewardship required. Yes. that a man be found faithful. faithful yes. It is a requirement. Mm, for you. It is a requirement. For the word of, is a steward mm. that you are required mm. for you to be faithful. Amen. To be committed. Amen. To charge yourself. Yes. That you should be faithful. A minister, a able minister has to a be faithful. Able minister, you have to be faithful. An example. Mm. How are you going to be faithful in everything you do? Yes. You don't just pretend when you're in the congregation that now you are holy than thou. No. You be faithful anywhere. People are seeing you or not seeing you. You stand. You know, things are going to come your way. They're going to challenge you. But you stay faithful. Amen. To become. 
Yes. You know, faithful before God and the people he has given you because you are a steward, you are an overseer. Of the gospel. Yes. God has give, have turned you to be an overseer an of the overseer, gospel. An overseer, that's a high calling. Let a man so be accounted. Amen. So you as a believer. Yes, sir. As we are ending, mm. now you know that you are a able minister. How are you renewing? Mm. Let's read one scripture. Romans 12, 1, 2. Romans 12. Before we end, yes. Okay, Romans 12. Mm-hmm. One and two. Yes. Therefore, I argue, brothers and yes. sisters, mm -hmm. by the mercies of God, yeah. to present your bodies, mm -hmm. dedicating all of yourselves, yes. see apart, yes. as a living sacrifice, as a living sacrifice, holy and well pleasing to yes. God, By... which is your rational, logical, intelligent mm -hmm. act of worship. Thank you. You want me to read two as two, well? Yes. And do not be conformed. Do not think. To this world. As the world thinks. Any longer with mm -hmm. its superficial values. Yes. And customs. Mm -hmm. But be transformed. Yep. And progressively. Yes. Changed as you mature spiritually by the renewing of your mind. Focusing on godly values. Yeah. And ethical attitudes. Mm -hmm. So that you may prove for yourself what the will of God is and that which is good and acceptable and perfect in his plan and purpose for you. So you as the able ministers mm. who are listening to me, don't think like the world do, does. Don't act like the world does. Because you have a Holy Spirit in you, which will guide you. Christ lives in you. Mm. The one who gave you the ministry of reconciliation he will guide you because he has given you instructions. Amen. May God bless you. You have to and say something. And commit to, to faithfulness. Be commit to faithfulness. Mm -hmm. And we declare those who are listening to us on Mkutu. Yes. And those who are on Twitter, Facebook, Book. and YouTube. Yeah. We declare you to be a faithful minister, minister of the gospel. Amen. Amen. And it's, remember, it's not your power. No. Because remember, he, our Lord Jesus is our land life Lord. Everything we need, he owns us. So, yes. So if he has called us, he's going to provide. Yeah. I'll give an example as we end. When Jesus was getting into Jerusalem, he had to sit on the, on what? On a donkey. donkey. So people lay down clothes, lay down jewelries. A donkey would have been very foolish to think, oh, now the whole Jerusalem are giving me gifts. But it was because the donkey allowed the creator of the universe. Yes. Jesus Christ, our Lord, to be his Lord on that Yes. Day. That's why yes. they gave him all the gifts. So you as an able minister, don't worry about provision. Yes. When you allow Jesus Christ to be your Lord. He will provide. He will provide every need. You don't even yes. have to, to come and give wrong information mm -mm. to people. Tell them $35. Read 35 verses. Uh-uh. You just preach Jesus. Because his Lord, he'll provide everything. Show them Christ. They'll do, they'll, everything will that be all right. That was my last word. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you very much for watching. Those who are watching now, we are going to pray Amen. and we'll close out. Father God, we thank you for tonight. Yes, Lord, we thank, thank you. Thank you for the gift of life. Able, yes, I, We have heard that we are able ministers. Yes, And you yes, have Lord. told us to be committed to be faithful. Yes, Lord. We, we pray for everyone who is listening, May who is an able you. minister, yes, so to be God. faithful in the ministry. We pray for those who have been Monday abused be and they feel like they cannot be in ministry anymore. Yes, so they feel God. frustrated. Zaka, we pray that their spirits may be healed. They, they, they may go back to ministry. They may go back and be faithful to yes, minister in the name, in the of, name Jesus. of Jesus, yes. the Son of the living God. God. We pray for Bibo those who Shikha. have been in ministry for a long time, mm. but they feel like the ministry is not growing. Yes. They feel like they cannot go on anymore. Yes. We pray for the courage. Libo Lord, Shaya. encourage yes, them. In the Give name them of power Jesus. to yes, stand, in the name of Jesus. to persevere, yes. or to withstand all distractions, yes, in that the they may be able to do the will Word of God. God. Yes, in the name, name of Jesus, Jesus at the end of it, or they'll get the reward of yes, the crown of their glory. Yes, oh in the name of Jesus. Jesus, then they will say Because that he fought a good fight. fight.
Oh, my Lord Jesus. We pray for each minister wherever they are. Give them the strength. Let them stand. Boldness, wisdom, understanding. That skill. Spirit of the living God. Breathe on them once Yet again. So Give them the anointing, the wisdom, the understanding, the enlightening of the word. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Even we pray for the young ministers yes, who are so shy. And they say, I cannot I speak I like cannot Jeremiah speak. said. I, I Mondes, have a stammer tongue. I cannot speak. Yes, Father, yes. we pray that you give them the anointing. Yes. They may be fluent in yes. what and eloquent Taking when they stand the word. to Could teach the word of God. Yes. Father, you said we are not on Mondes, our Mondes, own. It's Mondes, you Mondes, who works within us. Father, work within your children right now in the name of Jesus. We pray for those who are sick. Yes. Kill them who have been contacted oh, with COVID. We declare healing those who right are now in the name of Jesus. We declare healing those in the name of Jesus. We declare healing in the name of Jesus. Have bipolar. We declare healing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Father, we bring our children who have gone back to school. Yes, Others Almighty have just started new schools and they are scared and nervous. Yes, they don't know yes, what to do. Yes. Let wisdom and understanding be upon our children yes, as they go back Almighty to school. Yes, Almighty God. Father, we thank Men you. Even we pray for. We are in this country. We pray for the president, yes. Biden and Kamala and everyone yes. in the cabinet. Yes. So whenever oh they God. sit to yes. think about the citizen, citizens, yes. God, let Kore your Holy Spirit make right guide decisions them. In the they may Kore make right decisions in everything they do. Now we hear there is another fat trend of COVID coming. Father, you arise, yes. speak to them in everything yes. they are in the they name of Jesus. to do regarding health, yes. regarding people, in how to live. In the Jesus. name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Shitaya. Father, we pray for our country, Uganda. Uganda. Well. We put Uganda they are Uganda. nervous, they are fearful. Man, they the churches are closed, man, other things are man, open. Yeah. Mighty Redeemer, yes, oh let my. the ministry of the church might yes. have lost some once Sikoto again man, in Uganda, Uganda Lord. Say, yeah. Whatever was hindering yes. the ministry of yes. Uganda, yes. he commanded to die from the root yes. in the in name, name of Jesus. Jesus. And Father, we release your children, mm. those who have gone into depression, yes. those who have been sick. They don't yes. know even where to get something to eat. Lord, provide every need they need in Jesus' mighty name. We declare peace, Be salvation in country yes. of Uganda mm. in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Father, we thank you yeah. and we bless your name. Amen. 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 And remember, yes. Jesus, Jesus is still, still in full, full control. control. We meet you tomorrow at 8 p.m. Central yes. Time. We'll be in Luganda. God bless you. Thank you. Please do share. share.